From this Sunday, it will be illegal in the workplace to discriminate against anyone on the grounds of age. So, if you sexually harass that young new secretary in the typing pool, you also have to harass Doris in archives. <laughs> Joining me now to discuss this new legislation is Barry from Watford. Hello there. Hello Barry. there, Marcus. Now, uh, oh, yes, thank you. Thank no, you. Don't worry. Round of applause for Barry. Don't worry. Now, Barry, first off, we've not got long. Um, how old are you? I'm, I'm, me I'm 81 years old, Martin. Okay. And um, presumably, you you support the change in the law. You know, I'm not sure what I'll do. You know, I mean, um. I don't want to get a job. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I uh, didn't work for 50 years. Admittedly, uh, <laughs> no, no, I retired at 31, full benefits, you know, but mm. I don't think discrimination is a bad thing in some place, you know, ladies should be generally young, yes. and that's not sexist, that's aesthetics, you know. Right, don't you think a lot of pensioners are capable of working? Well, you're talking about a section of society who, who can't dunk a biscuit without it going down their front. They're not going to be running shell, are they? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not knocking the elderly. I mean, I've got, uh, I've got two words for you. Churchill. Now, <laughs> he, he was 77 years old as a Prime Minister, you know, and, yeah. he, and he defeated Hitler. Yeah. You know, I mean, could you really see a teenager you know, orchestrating the liberation of France. You're not going to be able to do that when you spend most of your time, you know, texting and wanking, are you? No. <laughs> but you and did you get on with the younger generation? Do you oh, like them? Down my way in Watford, they're very, very nice. You know, yeah. you go out of a night in the park, it's like a saloon bar. <laughs> yeah. Drinking, smoking, it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. You yeah. know. So, so, would you support this change in the law? Well, I don't know. I don't want. I ain't got time to work. You know, I get up uh, by the time I get up in the morning, made a cup of tea, take Binky out for a walk. It, it's quarter yeah. past six in the morning. You know, when the time goes, I don't know. Yeah. Well, there are more jobs than I would. I would hate to see you know anyone over thirty working in my local. Why is that? It's a topless bar. Right. And there was a, a, an elderly lady, Jean, who worked there, and uh, yeah. she leaned over and she goes, Betty, my heart is burning for you. I said, your bosom's in the ashtray, you know. Lovely. But, uh, <laughs> well, Barry, I, 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 it's an old one. I'm sure, I'm, sure that's, uh, I'm sure that's pretty much all we've got time for. Well, I, I get on with most ages, you know, 22, 42, whatever, yeah. you know. 27. Well, that's... That 33. Oh, no. Super. Thank 41. you. 41. Yes, thank you. Henry. Thank you very much. Barry. 11. <laughs> Barry from... 24. Barry from Watford. 35. Thank you very much. And now, a new section of the late edition which concerns itself with reviewing 29. things. 29. Yes, so uh, Robin Ince presents the review 38. section. 38. <laughs>